My name is Sheila Sicily Ome from Kenya. My PhD is focusing on the indigenous chickens of Kenya. I'm interested in their resistance to viral diseases. I came to do my MSc and PhD research at the Becker Hill Rehab because I believe it's a center of its kind in Eastern and Central Africa where you have cutting edge technology so one doesn't need to go abroad but can stay in Africa and still be able to compete with the rest of the world. The modern facilities here have enabled me to finish my MSc and PhD within five years, something which would have taken me much longer in a national research institute. I'm Ilona Konradi and I'm from South Africa. My work is for my PhD. Um, the project that I'm working on is a collaboration between the University of Pretoria, ILRI, University of Edinburgh and University of Nottingham. We chose this facility to bring some samples because they are experts in tick-borne diseases. The facility is excellent for all the molecular diagnostics as well as serology and uh, microscopy. My name is Vincent Njunge. I come from Kenya. I'm working on groundnuts and pigeon peas from Malawi because they need drought-tolerant crops. Many local universities in Africa lack funding and so they lack the high-level facilities like the ones we have here. Now, African scientists can further their research and advance their careers here in Africa for the African community. I'm Pauline Asami from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm working on pigeon peas to modify them to be insect resistant. Once I'm through with my master's, which is what I am doing, I intend to, if possible, do a PhD. Otherwise, take my information and my knowledge to the farmers on the ground so that what I'm doing can have an impact. My name is Selma Hassan. I come from Sudan. I've come here to do my PhD in the epidemiology of sheep thyroiosis, an important disease of sheep in northern Sudan. Most of the sheep belong to poor farmers. Outbreaks occur annually and many of the sheep die. I work in the Central Veterinary Lab Sudan. We don't have the equipment available here at the hub and also we don't have the expertise. Here people have been working for many years on a, a disease close to mine, uh, which is Thaleria parva, the, the causative agent of uh, East Coast fever. And uh, so they have a lot of information. My name is Sarah Osama. I come from Kenya. I'm working on introgressing striga resistance to sorghum. The striga which attacks sorghum in Kenya is the same striga which attacks maize. So finding striga resistance for crops in Kenya is a very important objective. I'd like to finish my master's, then I come back for my PhD, and after that I'd really like to help young scientists to grow to where I am right now. My name is Nivi Girate Ojen. I'm from Rwanda. I work with sorghum. In Rwanda, there are small farmers who grow sorghum. So if sorghum is destroyed by striga, those small farmers can suffer. My name is Nadia Mohamed Osman. I'm from Sudan. I'm working on animal thermosomosis. I started my work in Sudan, uh, but uh, I have an advanced work, so I, I need an advanced lab to do it. These new facilities will help in improve the diagnosis of the disease. And when you are able to diagnose correctly, you can control in a good way. My name is uh, Ekta Patel and I'm from Kenya. I got my bachelor's degree in the US, my PhD in South Africa, and I came back to Kenya to work on vaccines. And I'm pursuing my postdoctoral scientist position right now. So here I have access to small and large animal units, farms, a world-class tick unit. 
Uh, we have a biosafety level 3 lab that allows us to test for pathogens. This is the leading institute in the region in uh, plant and livestock diseases and this is why I've come here. I'm Amy Jennings and I come from the UK. So I graduated from vet school in the UK and now I've been here for just over a year doing my PhD in Kenya. I'm working on an infectious disease project with indigenous cattle. There's a certain number of facilities in the UK that are doing work on these diseases, but the facilities here are so good that it really makes sense to be working here. 